All right, so quickly I'm going to go through these mobile design principles. So the first uh, mobile design principle that you want to consider in your mobile apps is uh, touch and ergonomics. Uh, really, really boiling this down to its simplest form, you essentially want to have larger input targets on mobile because they're touch friendly and we're, we're using our fingers, as I mentioned, as opposed to mouse and keyboard, which is much more precise. And you want to essentially leave some space in between your inputs as well so that you eliminate the uh, errors that happen with touch inputs sometimes. Testing your designs on real mobile devices as opposed to emulators. Um, you want to, again, really just focus on what your user's context actually is, ideally text, uh, testing on the devices that they're actually using if possible. So you want to progressively provide more and more contextual information to your user um, as it's needed. So a good you know, example of this is a mapping application, as you can see in this little animation. Um, as we zoom further further in, the, the information that's presented is more contextual, um, it's different, and it's more specific to the location. And mobile first is just this sort of mental shift of designing for mobile first and then expanding uh, content and functionality as we have more real estate on our screen. So on mobile, the design is really focused and specific to what that user's action and, and sort of top priorities would be. But as we have more and more screen space um, on maybe a tablet size or up to desktop sizes, um, we're adding in more functionality uh, that might be more uh, friendly to the user on desktop. We also talked about uh, this new paradigm of content being UI. So essentially the idea here is as we remove more traditional um, inputs like checkboxes, buttons, uh, scroll bars, things like this, we are going to have our users interacting directly with the content itself. So think of scrolling. We don't have a scroll bar on the screen. We just press directly onto the content with our thumbs or fingers and move the content around on the screen. So it's a much more natural interaction, and we just want to keep this type of design paradigm in mind because it's just sort of a new way of thinking about things. And removing UI clutter, we sort of always touch on this in our design uh, sessions. So this is just sim simply getting rid of anything on the screen that isn't providing a ton of value to the user at any time. And a good way to do that on mobile is to try to minimize the amount of fixed elements on your screen. So if you tack on a fixed header or a fixed footer or both, you start to really um, eat up the screen space that's available. And finally, we talked a bit about designing systems. So this is a really common uh, web paradigm. So as designers and engineers on the web, uh, folks create these design systems that are made up of reusable components. Usually they start small and slowly build upon each other to create um, you know, larger organisms and then full screens. And so it's a really exciting concept and it leverages a lot of the best practices that we talk about. It, it has this great advantage of if, you're, if you go back and need to make changes or edits, uh, those changes can take place in one, one place and then they sort of cascade out throughout larger applications so that you're saving yourself a lot of time um, and effort in the development side. So that's it for the uh, mobile design principles. We went over these in a lot more detail um, with more examples in the first webinar. So if you haven't seen that already, go ahead and check that out. And hopefully these new design principles become more and more second nature to you as you approach your new projects.